Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. We are getting started with Lightning Web Component Masterclass where I will teach you right from the basics of how LWC works until the point where we will actually build projects from end to end. This video will be more of an intro video to LWC. But before we get started, I request you to please, please, please do subscribe to this channel. If I was able to teach you anything, please consider subscribing to this channel. So what exactly is an LWC? So LWC is nothing but a custom component which cannot be built using Salesforce tools, right? We cannot build something using flows or we, we cannot build something using Apex or if you need some kind of UI, right? You need a customized UI which you cannot build it using normal Salesforce tools. That's where you go with LWC. So basically, if you want to build a custom component as far as your own need, like an input box or a form, something like that you need as far as your need. Uh, so in that cases, we go with LWC, right? We can also go with Aura, but nowadays LWC is more in use. So LWC has three important files. There are multiple files, but there are three important files which you need to understand. One of them is HTML file. Another is JS file. And last and the final one is nothing but the Apex controller. <coughs> there are more files to it, but these three are very important. Okay, so let's say if you have to build a if you have to build a small form, okay, let's say which will take username, which will take email, which will take password and etc etc stuff, and it will take uh, and it will have a button, right, a normal button, and once you click on that button, what will happen is uh, let's say you have not inserted a right, right email, let's say I put test just test nothing at the red gmail.com, I have not inserted anything, it's just a test email. It is not in a correct format, so in that cases we will need JS, right? So what happens is basically when you want to build an input screen, you use HTML. Right? <coughs> on the other side, on the other hand, let's say if you have uh, you have uh, inserted a input box with phone number field. Okay, you have inserted a phone number field inside the input, input box. And you want that user should only add 10 digits inside it. Not less than 10, not more than 10. You want them to insert 10 digits anyhow. So this kind of server side checks can be done using JavaScript. Right. <coughs> so let's say uh, you have built a form and then server side checks have been performed with the help of the JS. But let's say now the data that has been inserted by the end user is completely fine and it is completely good to go to Salesforce. In that case, you use Apex controller. Okay, to understand it more in diagrammatically way, okay, so we will have this, let's say you have a input screen, your laptop input screen, right? And there is a form, right? So there is a form, there are two fields inside it, and there is one button inside it, let's say. And there is a phone number, uh, phone number field, and let's say name field, right? So there are two fields that you have to build in LWC, uh, and what you do is, uh, what will happen is you can build it using HTML. I'm going to write it as ht, just ht, right? So now once the user inserts everything that he wants to, and let's say his phone number is, uh, digits are less than 10, okay? If you don't want him uh, to insert phone number digit less than 10, you want the phone number digits to be equivalent to 10, and there should be plus nine one at this time because he's an Indian client. So in that case, this kind of validations can be performed using JS, right? So now let's say next part is, all the data that has been inserted by the end user is perfectly fine. Okay, it's good to go. Now once it is validated from the JSN, it can be inserted using inside the Salesforce. Okay, I'm going to name it as SF. Now this insertion inside the Salesforce can be done using Apex. That we will call it as Apex controller. So this is all for this today's video. We will more dive deep inside LWC, each of the component one by one and how it works. If you want to deep dive along with me, do subscribe to this channel.